Welcome everyone to a new series I am bringing back called five cool Android things. This is episode one. In this series, I will be showing you five awesome things that are related to Android. This can include apps, games, tech products, exposed modules, subscribe themes, websites, and more. Since I will only show you five things per episode, this means that each item is fantastic and worth checking out. So immediately drop a like on this video to let me know that you would like for me to continue this series. And with that being said, let's jump right in. The first item on this list is an app called Unnotification. When I receive a horde of notifications, I tend to swipe them away, but sometimes I accidentally swipe away some important ones and end up regretting it as I didn't get a chance to read or know what app it came from. Finally, with Unnotification, I can retrieve those recently dismissed notifications. So whenever I swipe away a notification, a new one will pop up asking if I want to bring it back. If I don't do anything, the undo notification will auto dismiss after a few seconds, which I can customize in the settings. I can also choose to ignore certain apps. There's a quick settings tile to bring back my most recently dismissed notification whenever I'd like. And it also has a notification log. The app is completely free, so check it out if you've experienced this issue in the past. The next cool Andrew thing is a website that I tend to visit when I want a new material wallpaper. It's called xenoblog.eu. Each one is created by a designer called Zan Cern, and they all look amazing. There's a new one added each week, with some having a variety of colors to choose from, and they're all free to download. So if you want to spice up your setup, check out this blog. This next item is a feature that I wanted to show off because I just thought it was the coolest thing and hopefully something we can see in a future Android update. It's basically a new circle animation when you open apps, and it can only be found in Action Launcher. They call it Adaptive Zoom, and what it does is when I tap on an app to open it, the icon slides to the center and expands the background color to fill the entire screen. It's the same animation when you open a folder in Android Oreo. If you want to try it out, then download Action Launcher. Oreo devices will work out of the box, but Nougat and Earlier need the Adaptive Pack add-on from the Play Store. This next item is an exposed module, so this will require Root and the Exposed Installer app. It's called Flat Style Colored Keyboard, and with this I can customize the entire look of my keyboard. I can change the colors, the style of the keys and spacebar, font, and background. My favorite feature is called Keyboard Auto Tinting, which will theme the keyboard based on the color of the status bar or action bar. For example, in Hangouts, the keyboard will be green, in Android Messages, it will be colored according to the color of the conversation, and so forth. This feature does cost a dollar, but I believe it's well worth the money, especially since it supports the Google Keyboard, AOSP, and Swipe. The last cool Android thing is a Substram theme, so you will need the Substram theme engine app. Keep in mind that there are some requirements to get this working on your phone. I'll drop a link to an XDA forum to see how you can get this awesome theme engine. Anyways, the theme is called Nav Swag, and with this you can change the look of your navbar buttons for a dollar. I know there's plenty of these on the Play Store with some being free, but I was stunned to see how modern and unique these buttons look. There's 11 different styles to choose from. They all look great. My favorite one is Oreo Clean as it has a minimalistic look inspired from the Pixel Nav Bar. Overall, one of the best Substram themes to get for your navigation bar. Anyways, that concludes the 5 Cool Andrew Things Episode 1. If you're a developer, company, or regular viewer that wants me to review an awesome item related to Android, shoot me an email or leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this episode, smash that thumbs up button, get subscribed as you don't want to miss out on these new upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!